So if you're replacing an old aerator or shower head, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the new aerator and possibly some plumber's tape if it won't secure enough. Your new aerator should come with some washers that are installed, some rubber washers you can remove based on the size of the uh, thread that you need to put it on. So first, you're going to want to securely hold the base while you do this in order not to break anything. Slowly unscrew the old one. If you need to, you could possibly use a wrench and a towel to uh, loosen it. Now with this washer, it's not going to fit on. So I'm going to remove that and you can just toss it or keep it aside. Again, holding the base and securing tightly. Now one thing you might need to do if you turn it on and there's leaks coming out of the sides, you can put on some plumber's tape either around the aerator or around the fixture depending on the orientation. So for me I'm going to just put this little bit of tape around like so. to make it tighter when I try to screw it on. This tape will create a better seal and prevent any leaks that might be coming out from the sides. So your kitchen aerator is a little bit different. So it will have a normal stream, like using a regular aerator, just running the sink without one, but if you were to pull it, it will turn it into a shower spray. Also, they might come with a flip switch that can shut off the water. So what you'll do is you'll have the hot water running, for example. Then if you flip this up, it will keep the water hot so you don't need to wait the next time that you are running the water. You'll just flip the nozzle and it will continue to spray and have hot water.